Hi, I'm Rebecca Rosen, a spiritual medium and best-selling author. For almost 25 years, I've been serving as a messenger for spirit and helping people strengthen their own intuition. Join me as we continue to explore, heal, and ascend through episodes centered around your questions, channelings from spirit, and powerful conversations with my friends and colleagues. How do we protect against others um, who happen to be in a lower vibrational state, who in the past have tended to trigger us or cause us high anxiety? You've heard me say it before, but I'm going to say it again. Observe, don't absorb. This should be like the empath's like standing mantra. Observe, don't absorb. Because what you want to do is notice thoughts that come to you when you're in this person's presence, the person that causes you high anxiety or high negativity. So you want to notice the thoughts that come to you when you're with that person in their presence. Do you start to go into judgment of other people um, or when normally you don't, that's not your nature? Do you notice you start gossiping? And again, not your nature. Uh, Do you notice being around some people causes you to think loving, beautiful thoughts? While being around other people, you start to go into negative thoughts, such as how hard life can be, or, you know, how much work you have ahead of you, or just dread and worrisome thoughts, or um, poverty consciousness thoughts. You know, when you recognize that, you're able to step back and say, time out, like, This is not my stuff. This is somebody else's, okay? So that awareness alone is powerful. Um, Notice how you feel when you're in their presence. Do you start worrying about money all of a sudden when minutes before you weren't worried at all? Well, if that happens, you're picking up on their scarcity consciousness, not yours. Or do you feel tired or drained, right? That person may be an energy vampire. Um, They're sucking all of your you know, light and bright, positive energy from you, leaving you depleted and drained. Or hopefully, you know, if you're with somebody, you start to notice that you feel positive, inspired, excited, expansive. That's a really great sign that you're plugging into that energy. Uh, Notice your body language. You know, when you're talking to somebody, you're sitting with somebody, do you notice if you're leaning in, you're usually giving away your energy and you're pushing in on their space. When you're leaning back, You're avoiding their energy coming at you too strongly. But when you sit up straight and tall with your feet on the ground, most you're basically going to be in your power. You're going to be grounded and you can better control the energy around you. Which leads me to boundaries. Boundaries is a big one, okay? Especially if you are a more sensitive being. Um, Establishing healthy boundaries with both the living and the dead super important. Okay. I have definitely had to learn this one throughout my life. It's a daily practice. I'm always working on it. But uh, just as we have physical boundaries with those on earth, we also have to have spiritual boundaries with the spirits around us. We we have to have energetic boundaries as well in general with everyone and everything. So we're setting boundaries all the time, even if we're not consciously doing it. So this is why it's important to set them and stick to them. And make sure they feel sustainable and enjoyable so that they can be lasting for the long term. Okay? And it's going to be uncomfortable. Trust me, setting new healthy boundaries if you've been poorly maintaining boundaries all this time. But poor boundaries leave you vulnerable and open to whatever energy comes your way, good or bad. So find your boundaries, what feels good, and then communicate them to the universe, to your team and spirit. And to those that you're working with um, in whatever you're doing, okay, either energetically or out loud, and then really hold those boundaries. They require accountability, okay? We are responsible for maintaining our own energy, right? And for setting and holding those boundaries in place. And that really comes down to self-care, okay? It's really important. Um, If you want to be a healthy, whole being, You need to have healthy boundaries, emotional boundaries, um, so that you can stay neutral, that you can stay a pure channel for whatever it is you were born to do in this world, okay? You are not meant to absorb everyone and everything, all the energy around you. And so figure out how to 
you know, wring out your sponge, to release when you have absorbed, um, to self-care. And there's all sorts of ways to do it. A few of them are getting outside into nature, connecting to the Schumann resonance, Mother Earth's heartbeat. Put your feet on the ground, ground. It will naturally cleanse and clear your entire energetic field. Go for a walk. It's really a powerful way. Moving meditation. Um, just sitting and meditating. That helps us to get still and clear. Sometimes salt baths help. Exercising, breathing, moving oxygen through your body, getting grounded. Um, journaling. It's a great way. Writing things uh, to get it off your chest or out of your mind so you can stay clear. Um, energy healing. You can learn to heal yourself. You can work with a professional healer, whatever that looks like to you. Music, sound healing music, super powerful. Crystal bowls, solfeggio frequencies, whatever it is, just maybe turning on your favorite music that helps lift your vibration. So it's not a one size fits all. Nothing is. Um, this really comes down to your own you know, emotional IQ, your own awareness, learning how to self-regulate, learning how you specifically need to care for yourself on all levels and layers of your being, and then doing it. And my friends, asking your team spirit to help you, okay? I would leave you with that. It's the most important thing, knowing you have this unconditional love of the energetic support team around you to help you. So have conversations with them, ask them what it is you need in that moment, and then just be open to receive. They will respond, okay? So let go and just trust whatever that is will flow to and through you to assist you, to support you, and to love you on your path. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Small Medium at Large. For more information about my offerings and events, and for additional resources on your spiritual journey, please visit my website, RebeccaRosen.com. You can also follow me on social media by searching at Medium Rebecca Rosen on Facebook and Instagram. As always, I am wishing you brightest blessings and all love.